More work on this 96 Freightliner FLD 120 with the charging system concerns. All battery cables are pulled off and going to clean them all with the wire brush and the emery cloth. But I've also been cleaning ground connections that haven't been cleaned in a long time. You see the bits of rust here. Back of the cable looks fairly good, but still, if if they're losing any little contact somewhere, systems aren't going to work right. With an electronic engine, you've got to have a minimum of 12.6 volts for it to operate properly. But, if you have good power contact, but you don't have good ground contact, things still aren't going to work properly. This goes for any engine with any type of computer on it. And it'll also uh, have a little bit of issues, even with old vehicles that don't have electronics. So over here, we took that ground connection off before and cleaned it up, replaced it, put it back before uh, cleaning all the negative connections on the starter. Then the other end of this was rusty, so it's now cleaned up, and oftentimes, if it seems like it's just not good enough here, you take a separate hole here, take a grinder, grind all the paint off, and put a good uh, grade bolt through there. Thoroughly clean up the back side of the cable with a grinder if necessary, and uh, bolt it directly if you don't know if you've got good contact still on the pin. There hasn't been any starting issues or anything like this. And this truck has the ground from the batteries going to the frame, as I showed back there, traveling through the frame and then through this cable. It still starts, so there shouldn't be an issue there. Uh, some truck engines have ground cables going directly from the battery to the starter. Then over here, another ground connection. That's to ground the cab. So both ends of that were removed. Down at the frame, somebody already took it off and used a grinder to clean it up in the past. It was pretty good but this wasn't it had a little bit of rusty surface and it's a copper end on the wire and then I believe that's aluminum body so how it had any rust maybe it came from the bolt I don't know now it's clean everything and I did go and remove the cables off the alternator again and uh, clean them up even though they didn't need it make sure they were good and tight and it looks like maybe it's not a lease Neville. I, I forget exactly what I read on there but anyway just a little more uh, insight to help you if you're having issues or just trying to do a good maintenance to make sure you don't get issues so you can keep on going with whatever type of vehicle you got from a darn scooter to a lawnmower to a uh, tractor truck or maybe even a big uh, off-road truck that can haul four times what this thing does thank you and take care